Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Sorry about that. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Where's Crane? Is he still here? Huh? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't really... Uh... Do you live in the building? No, we don't live here. Look, little girl, I know he was just here. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't know what that is. Crane? It's okay. Do you have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so... we're not strangers. Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there... Uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Well, this has all been thoroughly enlightening, but... I'm still gonna have to search the apartment, so... Step aside, Kitty. Wait, please! I don't know if I'm allowed! Oh, it's okay. Really. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here! Okay, Sheriff. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. You could still be here. That your mom? Uh huh. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's. Pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. No one's been... What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh, my mommy makes all of it. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 
no, no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Please, Greenleaf. Crane is a murderer, and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk, now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. 
It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Orders are orders. the only measure I have in this horrid world. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? I have nothing! Nothing! You took everything from me! I have nothing! No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? Decided you want to taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help you. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. Oh, my God. Big B. Wait, don't. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I didn't. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. It's just, just let me show you. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No, this will work. I assure you, it, it must. I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please, tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh, God. Are you all right? We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm so, Sorry, I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to... Shut up. Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. 
But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now, I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. It's not about who's in charge, it's about doing your job. Oh, is it? You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. What are you saying? What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Guys? Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh... You know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just gonna make it loose. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Get out of here. It's your lucky day, kid. 
Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. <coughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around.